did you know? Hello, good morning. Today's Artifacts video is completely different to any other Artifacts videos. And there's a very good reason for that. Just one moment. Uh, the reason being that yesterday I received a truly lovely parcel in the post from a young man called Harry in Merseyside. Now, um, Harry sent me this. It's uh, it's a peek inside Knight's Castle, and I thought, oh, well, that's quite funky. It seems to have windows on the front, which are uh, uh, C3, you can peek inside the castle, for example, on the cover. But then, to my amazement, the book, uh, when it opens up, opens like this. So you open it, and oh, it, <laughs> it literally becomes a castle um, in, uh, in 3D form. You can actually look inside the thing. I had a great time exploring um, the different rooms and the different layers inside the castle. There are people um, uh, uh, talking to each other. You have um, cats and dogs observing maybe at the lady of the house getting changed. Um, there's a oh oh yes I loved the, um, uh, uh, the the siege that was happening and as the siege was occurring inside in the dungeon someone was being tortured and all sorts of other details which just came to light. I love the way that peering inside the castle makes you feel like a giant looking inside someone else's home <laughs> and seeing all seeing what everyone's up to inside was just great fun. But the thing is this book reminded me very much of a book which I used to well I used to, which I still do love, um, but I used to love especially when I was around about the same age as you, Harry, and that is a book called Stephen Beastie's Cross Sections Castle. Uh, see inside an amazing 14th century castle. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. Um, it, it goes into, into details uh, throughout um, a very much a hypothetical castle, uh, showing you all sorts of elements of life from combat to, to everyday life to how society was organised to, uh, to, to um, also you have to try and find a spy at one point in the book which is wonderful. Um, or by the way, on every page rather you have to try and chase the spy through the castle and he gets away at the end. Um, but it's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant book, and it actually inspired um, today's artifacts. So indirectly, your book, Harry, inspired me to remember this book, and therefore to remember this interesting artifact, which I think you might find particularly interesting. And that is, in a castle much like this one, um, you would come across someone called a gong farmer. Now, what on earth is gong, and why on earth do we need someone to farm it? Well, unfortunately, the gong farmer had probably uh, one of the most unpleasant jobs of all time, and that is his job was to empty out the latrines in the castle. Uh, they would fill up with gong, with human waste, with poo and wee, and um, he'd put them into buckets, into a cart, and in turn use it to uh, fertilise farmers' fields around the castle. Um, so that's today's artifact, gong farming, uh, and it was directly inspired by Harry's wonderful wonderful gift. Incidentally, uh, thank you also to Harry's dad for uh, for apparently giving him the money to post the book um, to, to Archeo Soup Towers. What a wonderful thing to send and I, I can guarantee you I will treasure it. Um, no one else will touch this book without uh, being um, checked to make sure they're not going to ruin it. So it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So thank you so much. And, uh, and there you go. Hopefully, Harry, you've learned something about the gong farmer. And indeed, hopefully this video has been interesting um, to those of you who aren't Harry as well. Until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.